I've never seen such piss poor shooting in my life. You can't jump, you run slow, you don't do push-ups with a Pennsylvania dam, and when you're not making everyone laugh, you're sitting around reading books, writing stories. Why the hell are you even here? I just want to be a radio man, sir. This ain't no damn trade school. You are here for only one reason, so that if we go to war, you will kill for your country and happily die for it. That is your duty as an American soldier. Are you with me, Private? Hey, son. I'm heading to Jacksonville. Right. Going home? Never had a home. Never had a home? Where'd you grow up? WGHT. Lake City, Florida. Well, we should be there around noon tomorrow. Sponsored by Have and Have a Cigar. They're cool and fresh, mild to the throat. After the news on WGHT, Lake City, Florida, oh, is the life of... About time you got here, goddamn thing won't capitalize. Pisses me off. I'm sorry? Now, the typewriter, you're here to fix it, right? No, I... Just, Damn it, Sam, he's doing it again. What? He chews my pencils and he steals them. So live with it, Chuck. So who the hell are you? Um, I've always listened to WGHT. I expected a... The Shadelman Building, eight stories. Yeah, right. We've got our antenna cabled up here. Shadelman's our sponsor. He gives us his roof. Well, love to give you the grand tour, but we're just a little swamped right now. Thank you. Ah! What a friendly, eager face. That's what I like to see. Welcome to WGHT Radio. What's your name, my name? Uh, Greg Trevor, sir. Greg? No. No, no. No, 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 no. Uh, Gregory. Gregory Trevor. Much more trippingly on the tongue. Gregory it is. Come see our world. This is the mechanics of the station. Nothing interesting here. Yeah, it'll be interesting when they close us down for not keeping our logs, you kleptomaniac. <laughs> Malcontent. Chuck, our engineer, bookkeeper, mean trumpet player. But he complains too much. And now, the heart of WGHT, the booth. Marianne, my wife, hell on the keys. And Sam, you've met Sam, my daughter. We write the show together. That's my office. Oh, have some soap. Shadelman sponsors our big show and some of our music and news segments. Now, down to business. The part you'll be playing is that of uh, William, who moves in next door. I'm sorry, the what? Aren't you here in response to the ad? Oh, uh, no, I'm just... Elliot, that hasn't run yet. But you said it would come out yesterday. I said I'd write it yesterday. We're submitting it tomorrow. I need an actor in 30 seconds. Now stay tuned for our main program. Have you ever acted? In the third grade, I played dairy products. Good enough. 
to the booth. That's for a nickel too. Pepsi Cola is the drink for you. WGHT proudly presents The Life of Edith Barton, sponsored by Shaleman Soap. On our last episode, Edith and Ben Barton found themselves face to face with a tall, mysterious man in the hallway of their apartment. Oh, perhaps I should introduce myself. I'm William Carlyle. I've just moved in down the hall. <coughs> you gave my wife Quite a start, Mr. Carlyle. I sincerely apologize, Mrs. Barton. Welcome to the neighborhood, Mr. Carlyle. I'm happy to be... I'm intensely happy to be here. It's a pleasure to have you as a tenant, Mr. Carlyle. It's a pleasure to be here, Mr. Jeffries. Your neighbors are fine folks. You met Edith and Ben, and you'll especially like Beth, their daughter. I can't wait to meet her. What does this mysterious figure want? Why is he here? Tune in tomorrow to the next exciting chapter of The Life of Edith Barton, sponsored by Shadelman Soap. If you're not using Shadelman, you're not clean. We're on network. Good work, everyone. Gregory, a little uncomfortable at first, but you're doing fine. You're hired. The job doesn't pay terribly well, so we thought we'd provide room and board. We live upstairs. You play an instrument? You can stay in my son's room. Larry's off playing soldier boy. Hey, all his clothes are here in the closet. Try them if you need them. Yeah, they'd fit you. I'll be in my room if you need me. I'll leave you two here to write the script. The script? Us both? Oh, yeah. Didn't I mention that? I'll be busy writing a new project this month. You'll both do fine. Good luck. You're familiar with the show. I missed most of November. <coughs> well, not much happened. Beth, the, the daughter, broke it off with Tony. It turned out to be a real bastard. <laughs> and uh, she hasn't met this new guy yet, uh, William. He did OK, eventually. Thanks. What's William's background? I haven't decided. He's hiding something bad. I, I think he lurks around and he doesn't communicate. He's, he's kind of a threat to Beth. What if he's just afraid to talk to her? I mean, uh, Beth is so beautiful. That's the secret. He's hiding something. Miss Barton is so suspicious. She sees it, and the surprise is he's in love with her. So you see a relationship happening? I don't know. Maybe they're too different. Back in New York City, here's a bulletin. Honolulu, Japanese bombs killed at least five persons and injured many others, three seriously, in a surprise morning aerial attack today on Honolulu. The sky was filled with puffs of smoke from exploding shells fired by American Army and Navy anti-aircraft units. Whether surface vessels of the United States fleet were in action against the enemy could not be learned at once. Gonna join? But columns of water rising the from army? the sea as shells hit the water indicated a naval action. That's what my father always you pushed me to do. Back of Honolulu, where many city folk went to view the fight. He knew how much I loved the radio, so he told me that would be the best way for me to learn it. Uh, One moment, please. But I'd never make it as a soldier. Uh, another bulletin, the Secretary of War has just this, announced that all military checkpoint. personnel on active I've had it! Grab your instruments, everyone! What are you doing? 
Radio is for entertainment. News is for newspapers. Elliot, the FCC and NBC would have our next if we broke into network during a national emergency. Elliot, most people are worried about their children. So am I. But it's the same thing over and over. People want to forget, just like during the Depression. They want to escape. Ladies and gentlemen, Ah. Where are you going? I don't know. Anywhere away from this news. If it went for Mom and Chuck, Dad would just float away. You'll get used to him. It has been six months since William and Beth fell in love and four long months since he joined the army. William longs to return to his country, his home, and his beloved Beth as his platoon lunges further into the heart of Axis North Africa. My God, Ted, this is the worst battle I've ever seen. Every day over here it gets worse, William. Oh, no! What is it? Holy Moses! That tank! It's broken through! And it's coming for us! It's a monster! Retreat! <laughs> I don't see what's so damn funny. Coming to GHT, Mr. Shaleman! How are you? Well, of course we'd like uh, your continued sponsorship. Conditions? Such as? You know what I miss most about home, Ted? What's that, William? Shadelman's soap. Feeling squeaky clean without all that waxy residue other soaps leave behind. Beth, what is it? Oh, Mama, I miss him. His caring hand on my quivering cheek, his gentle smile, and I miss how he smells. Because he uses Shadelman brand soap, there's no pungent odor of added fragrances. You've been listening to the Shadelman Fresh Scent Beauty Bar Theater. After the news, stay tuned for the Shadelman Rub a dub dub bubble bath soap dish band. Enough is enough. I've had it. No what, more. What are you doing? I'm gonna give that suds peddler a piece of my mind. Elliot. Larry's been wounded. He's coming home. He'll be back tomorrow night. How bad? They don't know. He'll be okay. Trust me. How can I look him in the face? He's watching his friends die. And I've never been so alive and safe. I can't do it, Sam. Someone's at the back door. Oh. Larry! I'm sorry. Shortly after Larry was wounded, he passed away. I'm sorry. 
just came up with the funniest storyline. This is good. <laughs> Listen, this robber... <laughs> uh, no, wait, this is good. He lets him in. <laughs> the robber can't be leaving. We can't run away from everything. Ten seconds, Chuck. Digestible. One more adjustment. Okay, got signal on two? Uh, yeah, we're set. WGHT Lake City, Florida presents Marianne Perry with A Personal View. This is Marianne Perry with A Personal View. Mr. Perry, that we, as people, we just received this box from overseas. Of human nature. A few articles of your son's. Thank you. This has never been truer than now. I never and really wanted him to go, you know. But it was what he wanted. Larry had faith. I bet in that... Times like these, we typically say, what the hell is he doing God, here? I'm an American. And find confidence in the realization that we will never cause such misery to be inflicted upon other nations. Who is he? When That's Jeff. Our engineer. Against humanity, you mean to tell me you let a goddamn Jeff run your radio station? And what they suffered at Jesus. the hands of King George III. And we are all thankful that they took the worst of conditions and planted the seed. Stop the it. Democratic tradition He's as American as you are. This very day. Leave America him alone. Shines as the country He's coming with us. He's not rounded up like an animal based solely on his race. If you have to have a traitor, take me. the fact that this is always true of America. We must learn that the time oh, to appreciate the beauty of the freedom of our Right before country, the war started. Is not only I ran away. In comparison to the very darkest side of humanity, but always. Probably should have been me over there. World where nations would not perpetuate mortal conflict I'm your threat. Against each other. Now, if you have to take someone, leave him alone and take me. This place is a goddamn loony bin. Greg? I gotta go, Sam. Three weeks ago, we know the greatest of sacrifices that can be made for one's country. Our boys would not go off to fight. Jordy, and die he's all yours. America, I'll be back. I promise. It is for our country. I'll come back home. The sacred principles we prize so dearly. It is to uphold America that our brave young men willingly give up. not going to prison. They need men. He'll be recycled and sent. Look, he wrote us a letter. He's in Italy. William, how's he doing? Oh, tired, lonely, but he's doing okay. Italy's good. General Patton. Right now the foxhole. William did this. And back to safety, his sergeant praised him in front of the whole platoon. Oh, 
why always oh, it's so nice to have you back from your trip, Mr. Jeffries. Well, it's good to be back. Have you heard from William? No. Nothing. It's been a month. Beth, what's wrong? William's unit was ambushed. He's missing. And presumed dead.